Coeur d'Alene's fire department has a new home for its fire boat. It was years in the making and cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Krem 2's Nathan Hyun explains why the former fire chief pushed for the change. I'm here outside the new fireboat garage on Third Street Marina. Let's take a look. This sits about 100 feet off the shoreline and the fireboat just moved in yesterday. The Coeur d'Alene Fire Department finally has their fireboat house. So this is our uh, fireboat garage. The fire department has had their fireboat since 2015. And up until now, it has lived on Blackwell Island. Deputy Fire Marshal Craig Etherton says it has some cool features. One of the uh, really cool things on this boat is it has a landing platform, of course. Um, and so we're able to come right into a shoreline. Since most of their callouts are in and around the lake, the fire department wanted a more permanent and closer location. The city council approved the project in 2020, but because of supply chain issues, the project wasn't complete until now. And the new location is expected to cut down on response times. We knew there was going to be delays, but this is a, a location that will allow us to be a lot closer to where our prime usage has been. Over the past seven years, the fire department responds to around 20 emergency calls a year on the lake. Most of them on Tubbs Hill. We have about 12 miles of shoreline here in uh, the city of Coeur d'Alene that we protect. The completion of the boathouse comes with plenty of time before the start of summer. It's done now and that's all that matters. Former Fire Chief Kenny Gabriel has looked forward to this day for the past two years. We had to have an ability to protect the water just like we did the land. So having the presence on the lake was very important to us. The boathouse cost $585,000. Most of that funding came from impact fees and the rest from the city's urban renewal agency. So I'm told the fire department hopes to have a small celebration for the opening of the boathouse later this summer. But for now, if there was an emergency, the fireboat would be ready to go today. In Coeur d'Alene, Nathan Hun, Krem 2 News.